We can graph a linear equation like this by interpreting it in slope-intercept form. This means it can be expressed in the form y equals something times x, the slope, usually represented with an m, plus b, or the y-intercept, which means in this particular case, my slope will be negative one-third because it's in the place of the m in the slope-intercept form equation, and my b, my y-intercept, is going to be a negative two because we know that subtracting two is the same as adding a negative two. Since my y-intercept is negative two, I can graph the point zero, negative two. It crosses the y-axis here. Now I can use my slope of negative one over three. That means I'm gonna go down one, I have a rise of negative one, and a run of a positive three. So starting from my originally marked spot, I can go down one and over three, and I find my next spot on the graph. Again, down one over three, like so. Following the same pattern in the opposite direction, I can go up one and back three. Again, up one and back three. So all those points, we see they make a nice straight line, and I can simply connect those to make my graph of my original equation, which is y equals negative one-third x minus two. Again, my y-intercept is at negative two, and I have a slope of negative one-third, meaning I'm going down one every time I go over three. Hope that helps. Thank you.